Hi everybody, it's Dr. Derek Houghton here at Ascension Chiropractic in downtown Ottawa and I just want to spend a few moments talking to you about office ergonomics. It is very often a question that new patients have uh, for me and, and ongoing patients in regards to, you know, how do I set up my space? Uh, it's not working for me, I'm having a lot of neck strain, back pain and so forth. And so uh, I just want to go over some really simple quick points with you and, and we'll just start off with your computer screen. Uh, the best place uh, to have your screen position is that the text at the top of the screen is at your eye level. Alright, so uh, just eye level right there, pretty simple stuff. Uh, with your mouse, and there's a whole lot of different types of uh, mouses, the mice, I'm not sure, I, the, the tech terms don't matter so much to me, but uh, different types of uh, mice that you can use and it really should be close to you as possible, right? Keep it tight and the things that you use the most should be close. You don't want to be reaching for them because you're spending hours all day long and any extraneous repetitive positions that you've got to put yourself in are going to be dangerous. So keep it tight in. With your keyboard, it really should be, your, your arm should be at a 90 degree angle. And if you're up too high, you'll, you'll notice that you can develop some wrist issues. Also too low, if your hands are pushing your, the bottom of your hands, palm of your hands or your wrist is putting contact on the desk or even on a bar on a strip. Uh, that can cause some contact, uh, rep, uh, repetitive strain injuries with your wrist. So that's not a, a great thing. So you want to make sure that you're about 90 degrees, nice and, and balanced in there. Um, now, does this look familiar? As the day goes on, you start getting tired and then you just start to come forward more and more and that's a problem. Now you may have some eye issues. You can get some magnifiers for your screen. You can increase the size of the text. Do that rather than craning your neck going forward. In other videos, we talked about the dangers of head forward posture. It causes spinal degeneration. So you don't want that. It causes nerve damage. That's just disaster. So let's prevent that by, uh, if you're feeling tired, get up and, and walk around. The next thing is the position of your chair. If you're at 90 degrees all day, that's actually one of the most dangerous things for your spine. So if you can put your, your chair into a, a, a semi-recline, not sleep position, but a semi-recline, have something underneath your feet, and draw yourself in close to your computer, that's going to be fine. All right? Um, chair. Chair height, if your feet are on the floor, your legs should be at a 90 degree. And also, with the sizing, if that chair bottom is coming up against your legs, then it's too, too large for you. You should have about an inch and a half to two inches behind the bottom of the chair, behind your knees, some space, all right? And you should also feel the back rest on your spine. Right, some support for your lumbar curve, very, very important. If you're not against that, uh, the chair is not sit, uh, fitting you properly. Um, be aware of the controls. You should have different controls with your chair to be able to raise it, lower it, and so forth. Now, nowadays we have a lot of people who are on standing stations. So with that, I mean, that's a, a whole new topic, but very simply, same things apply but you also want to have something that you can put your foot up on, left, right, something that's maybe six inches high. And uh, so I just want to cover a few things with you today. I know it's been a little longer video, but just some simple things that are important that you could apply today. So it's Dr. Houghton here talking to you. Have a great day. Enjoy. Bye.